Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Painting with Harold and tonight I think we're going to do something a little bit different and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I have a 16 by 20 canvas that's turned on landscape and tonight it is covered with a thin, let me repeat that, a thin, very thin coat <clears throat> of liquid clear. And my colors are titanium white, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson. I have out a little mountain mix, midnight black, dark sienna, Van Dyke brown, sap green, cad yellow, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, and the evil bright red. And tonight, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, okay, the reason I have liquid clear tonight is number one, I want my colors to stay true. I want to have full control of when I change a color. Like if I want to add white, I don't want the liquid white to do it tonight. I want to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another reason is I'm going to sketch the layout of this painting. Or I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to. Uh, if this painting turns out the way it should it should be a real real pretty painting uh, it'll be it'll be something a little little different than what we've been doing but with that said if you you know if you decide you want to paint it and you want to paint along you'll have the video to do it with and uh, you can always stop the video or rewind it or whatever you need to do to the, the basic concept all the procedures and all the steps all the brush strokes all the techniques will be the same it just may get a little tricky when we go to getting into the the hillside in the background and where our ground's got to turn back level because in my mind this is what's going to happen we're going to have a blue sky with a lot of clouds, and we're going to come down with a uh, with a hillside over here that's going to come back. It's going to be it's going to be pretty big, and we're going to have a little mountain range in the back that comes in and joins it with a few trees right in here and a little green meadow or pasture that drops off into a little a little. Uh, small pond or stream, whatever you want it to be. It'll, it'll look more like a stream because we may add a couple of rocks in it, but in my mind, that's what I got planned. Now, I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and pick up a little mountain mix, and I'm going to pick that up on just a filbert brush. And I'm going to come up here, and I want to drop down, coming in here at an angle, and then maybe go back up just a little, and then come down, and I'm going to stay on this, this downward spiral, probably, probably until I get about halfway. And I'll stop about right in there. Then I want to come back. I'm going to say probably halfway of this. Well, let's, let's come down a little bit further with this. We'll just stop it about right there. Let's say about halfway or a little more than halfway of this little, this little deal here. We'll just come out with the with just another little hillside that that just kind of comes down and follows follows suit a little about like about like so that's about all we need and then I think this would probably end up joining it about right in here somewhere we won't be able to tell that because we'll end up putting a tree or something up here where it joins all right, now we got to 
we got to sell an idea in here at some point that that this is thick and I'll explain that as we go but let's say all right let's just say that this comes out even just a tad bit further by like so and then we come in over here let's say we come so we come down about like this and then come back up and create us a little a little heel shape in here and bring that heel over here somewhere where it ends up being we don't really we don't really care where it stops it over here on this side but about like so Ooh, I'm pretty sure we're going to bring a tree down right here. And it'll probably be a pine. But the thing about that is, all right, we don't want to put the top of it up into our sky right now. So we'll just, we'll come down to here. Like so. And we'll just, we'll just kind of color it in a little bit. All right, now I'm going to pick up this other little small brush I got over here. Uh, go right back into the color. And then we'll probably we'll probably bring another one right beside this one. About like so. About like this. We'll just we'll make all that work when we get to it. And I figure the top of our cabin is probably going to cut this off. But I think before it does, we'll have us a, another little tree right in here. Just some sort of little, some sort of little evergreen of some sort. And we'll, we'll bring these evergreens down kind of at an angle across here. They don't have to be. This is this is just a very rough draft right now. Trust me, this is very rough. I'm just trying to get in my mind where everything's going to sit. Because <coughs> I think... I think our cabin is going to come across... Let's say we bring it across here. Okay. And we have our... We have our uh, Eve that comes down at an angle back here. And that's it, just comes in. And then this side kind of kicks this way a little. About like so. And then let's say this side comes down. About like that. And let's say we come across. Now, like I said, this is a this is a very rough draft, so I don't know what all to change before we before we finish this. But whatever we do, we'll we'll fix it as we go along, just like we always do. All right, we'll come across here like so, and we'll bring this stuff. Uh, Cross like this, and we'll bring this side down about like so. Now I'm not 100% sure on the perspective here yet because we don't have any ground laid in here yet. So if that perspective's not 100% right and things are not straight as they need to be or whatever, we'll fix all that when we get to it. But I can just about tell you already that it's that it's off a little bit through here. But like I said, we can fix all that when we get to it. All right. So all of this area back in here is going to be dark in color, but about 
Well, let's say, let's say we bring another big tree down right here, and another one about here. And then we can put another one over here beside it, like that. And then maybe another one in here, a little bit taller. And then we come down. All right, let's say if we come down in here, we can we can just come right down into there and maybe just let this tree cut all that off. We'll, we'll make these uh We'll make these evergreens too. We'll even make these evergreens. Not like so. And I'm just doing a little wiggling where I'll know what kind of trees they are. Ooh, I'm nervous about this one, y'all. Because <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know what we're going to end up with here. I really don't. I'll do another one right here. Just to, just to kind of make it look full. Alright, now. On these, we want to put us some standing evergreens along here. Like so. And. We want all this color to be dark. So, let's just say that our ground gets level back here. Just, just for the sake of saying that this is our pretty much our uh, horizon line. We want a couple bushes in here and here and there, just to separate some of the, just to separate some of the. Uh, some of the stuff, and we'll put us a little tree over here amongst our bushes. And we'll bring, we'll bring these bushes all the way down and these trees so we know where our horizon's gonna be. And we'll just let this go in front of the little cabin like so. Because all of this is gonna be, this is gonna be dark, and this is gonna be dark and light we're gonna have a little a little dark but we're gonna have some some of the highlight on the trees like the sun's coming in <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and then let's say that this land comes back and it keeps going back all right we're gonna need Right, we can make that look like it's sitting on the land. So if the land's coming back, and we said it's going to be coming back kind of at an angle through here, that means that the land's going to come through here like so. That means we need a little bit taller tree that's coming right in here. And we'll make these trees look like they're in front of it, kind of like they're cutting these off. Hopefully all that will make sense when we start painting. I hope it does. And then these trees will be, like I said, I don't know what kind of trees we're going to end up doing yet. They'll more than likely be evergreens of some sort, maybe like cedars or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll determine that when we get to it. And then we want these to kind of set on level ground right here. Right in here is when we're going to start making our ground a, a different color. All right, so let's say that the rest of this ground comes over and just kind of just disappears off in here. We'll have all of this dark so we can't tell it. So we'll make all this dark. About like so. And now we'll cover all of this dark up with, say we'll come in here, 
What a tree. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of evergreens to make in this paint. We'll bring it down about level with those. Then over here, we want the land to look like it's back in here, you know, doing doing something. But over here, we'll uh, we'll probably put us a. All right, over here, let's do us a different kind of tree. Over here, we'll we'll do us a leafy tree over here, and we'll bring it we'll bring it down like so. And since that one's gonna be kind of bushed out in here, we'll bring it down a little further. And that allows this land to come on over. And then, let's say we'll come in here with maybe another evergreen that's just a wee bit taller in front of this one. We'll bring it down to about right in here. Then we'll go way off the canvas up here. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Oh man, I did not need to do that. Oh, I screwed this up. Mm. <laughs> I really didn't need to do that. I got carried away, y'all. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna stop it right here. But we'll. Mm. All right, I gotta do some thinking here. How I'm gonna fix this? Cause I need to come in here really with another, another evergreen to kind of close this area in some. Oh boy. How am I going to fix that? All right, I'm going to try to fix this. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad y'all got to see this because this, this is definitely a, a happy accident. This was not supposed to happen, trust me, when I tell you. All right, we'll come up here, and I'm going to try real hard to, this color ain't going to come out. I didn't think it would. Cause that's pretty dark. All right, so I'm gonna try this, and I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna work. But I'm gonna pick up a little titanium white, and I'll try to I'll try to cover it. If it ends up being a gray up here, now I can get away with that. Cause uh, that blue, I'll just get over here, and it'll kind of do some crazy stuff. When we go to adding the sky in. But I really didn't want that much white in here. If I knew that, I could have just put in some titanium white. But All right. That's not really repaired as good as I'd like for it to be. But it's about all I can do for the moment. All right. I'm going to pick up just a little bit more paint on my brush here. across here, try to get this perspective a little bit better, about like so. All right, if we got a line of trees happening over here, and we're going to have some bushes all across here, like we see it, we'll probably need to come out in the front yard just a little bit, and maybe do a little bush, a little something right in here, and Maybe a couple of bushes over here. Because this part of the water is going to come down. Probably about right here under these bushes. I'm going to say up to about right here. We'll bring this down. And we'll bring it all the way over to the other side like so. Because my plan is to have this look like a a bank that's dropping down in here a little bit with a little bit of water in it. But over here, off the canvas, we're going to need another tall evergreen. 
and I think I want it to come down this far. And we'll determine we'll determine how high up it goes once we uh, once we start you know start painting. All right. I don't know that I want that kind of tree right there. I don't think I do. Not with all these evergreens. So I'll just come in here. And I'll probably just come in here and, and do do all evergreens to tell you the truth of it. And that way they... I may do just a little bit of a... of a leafy tree just poking out back there to make it... to make it just look like the ones back there. Alright. I want to leave this... I'm going to leave this roof to where it's more visible. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up painting over a lot of this stuff. Because the eaves not going to be, the eave of this house is not going to be that, that big back here. It'll have color in it. Coming down like so. About like that. And it'll have color coming down in the front. And then it'll have a roof. About like that. Alright, now in the yard, right here, let's say that somewhere right in here we put us a, a little rock sitting out here in the grass. And maybe a little bush over here that. You know, just sitting there growing like a little wild bush. Not real big, just something to... I'm just kind of trying to put some stuff here at random so it don't look too dull. I'm going to put us a little rock over here. We'll put us a little bush or two along the, along the creek bank here. Because we're going to have some bushes that come down into it. We may have a tree that comes up out of here. We'll just figure all that out when we get to it. All right, now this little this little part up here is going to be all colored in. But we got to show some separation up here when we get to that part. And we will. And I don't want this I don't want this peak out here to be Real sharp over here. I want it to be kind of rounded. Because all that's going to be closed in. Alright. I know this is kind of crazy looking, but <coughs> if this works out, like I see it, it should be a decent little painting. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is, I'll tell you what we'll do before we finish. Before we finish, we'll come in right in here with another little tree, everything. And that little bit sticking up ain't going to hurt nothing. So what I'll do now is I'm going to stop the video where I can clean all these brushes up that I got dirty already and uh, then I'll start back pretty quick here and we'll, we'll start doing some blocking. 